A startup company promises a revolutionary grid battery. It's the EOS Energy Storage says its zinc air battery can store energy to meet peak power needs for less. What happens is, is when they reach peak power, they use natural gas generators to create that extra electricity to meet the peak power demands. So what they're saying for half the cost, using zinc air batteries to store energy when it's not being used, it can work better. That's greater than lead acid batteries. They got $10 million in funding from several investors. And let's see, is there a date on here? Nah, it's an MIT review. Zinc air cells draw on oxygen from the air to generate current. Drawing on outside air gives the batteries a higher capacity to volume ratio and lowers the material cost. The battery's water-based chemistry also means it isn't prone to catching fire like lithium iron batteries. And you've heard about that on the planes. Forget about snakes on the planes, batteries on the planes. Uses a novel pH neutral electrolyte. And they have achieved more than 2,700 cycles with no physical degradation in a one third kilowatt scale battery. Nice. Oh, this is an interesting grid battery. The battery should be able to provide electricity at times of peak demand for 12 to 17 cents per kilowatt hour compared to the 22 to 30 cents for electricity, electricity produced by natural gas. In terms of the amount of electricity that goes in versus the amount that comes out is only 60% compared with roughly 80% for lead acid batteries and more than 95% for lithium ion batteries. Low efficiencies result for differences in voltage between charging and discharging and is inherent to the battery type. I've heard about this company before. Nice that they came up under revolutionary technology.